Hi, I'm Melinda Tescada Malane, Editorial Director of Imaging Technology News, and we are here today at SIM with Dr. Rick Wiggins, who is the 2015 SIM Program Committee Chair. And today we're going to be talking with Dr. Wiggins about social media. So thank you for taking the time to speak with us, Dr. Wiggins. Thank you for having me. Dr. Wiggins, what is social media? Well, it's a great question. There are a lot of different types of social media. Usually people just think, talk about Facebook. That's what they think about when you say social media. But Facebook is really a, a type of social media, social networking. So we have interaction with our friends where we can share thoughts. There's a business version of that LinkedIn, which is a business social network. And there's even Doximity, a physician social network, where physicians can log in, share articles, and write comments to each other specifically. Uh, then we have uh, Twitter, which is really kind of a microblogging. You have an audience where you're just sharing short comments with a few people. Uh, we have blogs themselves, larger blogs people write. Uh, we have bookmarking sites, uh, Delic Delicious or Stumble Upon, where people can save their bookmarks. I actually have a website where I made a website just of all the bookmarks and all the pages that I go to. So wherever I am, I know I can just open that web page and I have all my bookmarks there. And that's sometimes incorporated into web browsers. Google, for example, when you log on to Gmail, Google will load all your bookmarks from your other logons, so you automatically have a bookmark bar with all of your favorites there. Uh, then there's news media sites, a social news interface. So there's all these different things as well as social news, websites like Reddit and Dig, which sometimes have a few, huge impact on society. A great example is after the Boston Marathon bombing, there was all this stuff going on on Reddit where people were examining images, looking at who's looking in one direction, and sometimes erroneously portraying somebody as the bad guy. Uh, but these social media outlets have a huge effect on our life. In addition to just the media sharing type of social media, like YouTube or Flickr, where we can upload pictures or upload videos and share with everybody or just share with a few people. So there's a lots of different types of social media. It's not just the Facebook that most people think about. Right. Uh, social media is a much bigger thing, but it's very interesting when we think about how flat the world is and how interconnected we are. I can be doing social media or tweeting with somebody in Hong Kong just as easily as somebody down the hallway from me, and it's the, exactly the same. It's instantaneously right. happening. Right. So we're all interconnected in a new way that we really haven't had before right. with social media, all these different types. Absolutely. So Dr. Higgins, what is mHealth? Uh, mHealth is mobile health, kind of an acronym. Uh, so when we talk about mobile health and wearable technology, Mobile health we can think of as acquiring, collating, and dispersing medical health information. And usually we're talking about it through mobile devices or wearable technologies. Uh, we can have watches that track our steps, check our heart rate, and even share where we are all the time with people. I have a smartphone that tracks where I am and where I go. So at certain times of the day, it may tell me that I'm this far from home if I know I'm about five and should be leaving. Yeah. It knows where I go on the weekend, so it says you're 10 minutes from Whole Foods if I <laughs> usually go there on Sundays on the weekends. Uh, in mobile health, we have all this wearable technology, and we're taking all this mobile health data, both acquiring, collating, and dispersing it through our wearable technology. So we have issues with our smartphones. And again, it's amazing to us how interconnected we are. I have the entire wealth and history of the entire human world in my pocket at all time. I can access that and interact with others all the time. With mobile health, I have tablets and smartphones as well as wearable technology that I can connect all these devices. And when you think about the future and how this is interconnected, all of us, it's really amazing the way uh, health and mobile health has changed everything that we do and may change in the future. Right. As you imagine going to call up Domino's for a pizza and they're saying, well, your cholesterol was a little high yesterday and I see your heart rate is a little high right now. So I think maybe you want the vegetarian, maybe not the mountain of meat. So how we're all interconnected and how this is going to change our future is a really exciting time for us Absolutely. in medicine and in technology. Right. And what is SIM doing to integrate this? Well, SIM is an unusual society. We have a huge range of people and in interaction between academia all the way up to the vendors and the exhibitors at our conference. And it's a place where all of them can get together and exchange viewpoints and how we solve problems, really uh, where the rubber meets the road in terms of connecting technologies to our network. We don't think about just an imaging packs anymore, just the computers we look at. 
And it's not just PAC speech and risk, but with CPOE, all the image integration, how we take those images and not just connect it to all these devices, but how do we utilize that for evidence-based medicine and patient care? And when we think about the changes we're gonna to need to do in terms of defining and quantifying our quality of reports, we wanna use mobile health and use social media with our patients, how we interact, and we wanna be able to use that in our reports to try to prove the quality of what we're doing, evidence-based medicine and personalized medicine. And that's the future for us. So it's a really exciting time for us at SIM, especially because this is a place where we have all these imaging informatics people from very junior people to very senior, the vendors, the PACS administrators, the physicians, and not just in radiology, but cardiology, dermatology, pathology, all these other specialties getting together. So it's not just imaging anymore, but in radiology sense, but everybody's using visible light, arthroscopic views, dermatologists taking pictures of rashes. How do we take all this data and organize it? And where does it live? Does it live at PACS? Does it live in the EMR? Does it live in another system that you have? How do we take these images and interact them together, and how do we use that for our patients to provide better health quality for them? So it's a huge, very exciting time for us, and, and SIM and, is an imaging informatics place where all of these people get together and we can examine all that and put right. it together. Right, excellent. Well, if people would like more information, where do you suggest that they turn to? Well, they can come to SIM and the SIM website. We have an e-community site with specific sections on productivity, workflow, and quality, enterprise imaging, all these things coming together. And on the SIM website and in eCommunities, you can find information about the conference that's going on. And there's a huge portal of imaging informatics where all this information is coming together. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Wiggins. We appreciate it. Thank you.